hello do you do batch cooking in this video we are going to do some batch cooking this is me after lighting the jiko do you know how to use the jiko what is the jiko called it's not the stove i don't know let's be just call it the jiko so the first thing i did was to boil the cereals before frying them today i'm boiling some green grams and some yellow beans i had done the lentils i had made the lentils the previous day but it didn't record but for this ones it's needed to record because the same recipe i use for green grams is how i do my lentils yellow beans i do them a bit different this is about after some minutes the green grams were already boiling hello 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 everyone welcome back to my youtube channel protein the kitchen today we are going to make some green grams and some yellow beans okay now let me tell you something the first thing i do my green grams i don't see what you can see some smoke these ones are ready no one oh sorry i meant some seed not some smoke i'm so sorry about that forgive me oh okay i don't know if, i don't know whether you can see some steam the green crumbs are the green crumbs are already ready so i want to cook the yellow beans then we will fry them so that i can show you how i store mine in the fridge so for green crumbs just boil them with water but for yellow beans, I want to show you how you can boil them. If you don't like yellow beans, this one, this recipe will help you to know how you can make them sweeter. Get your boiling water. I had used this for rare to boil the green crumbs. So I've just cleaned it. I'm going to add some salt to the water I'm supposed to boil with. And I'm also going to add some garlic powder this helps the yellow beans so if you have someone who don't love yellow beans in your house or you yourself you can try with this recipe then i'm going to add my yellow beans i'm going to add some beans here After soaking them, you can, because you had washed them as you are soaking, you definitely cannot soak with that water. You have to clean them first before soaking. You can use the same water like I did with the, yellow, uh, with the green grams. Then, or you can choose to leave out this water. I've left out this soaking water because it doesn't have garlic and salt. Otherwise, you can just use it to boil that is baby tea being noisy outside ignore her let us boil no i'll just use my jiko to boil i don't know whether you can see my maca my charcoal here i've kept it here on top because baby girl is using it to play so i can i have to keep it out of her reach now let's go and boil the yellow beans on the jiko and we will be back meanwhile as you're watching this video this amandazi video on my channel this is some mandazi dough i'm about to make that as well let me boil the yellow beans and i'll be making the mandazis as the yellow beans get ready so that we can fry them bye bye see you we are back and now when you see the spices you know it's frying time yellow beans ready green grams ready these maize boiled maize were in the freezer so i've just boiled them boiled them a bit so that they can defrost 
you have onions i'll be using no let me tell you what we are doing before i tell you the spaces we have we are going to make yellow beans stew green grams stew and githeri enough for maybe two weeks two weeks at most this was half a kg green crumbs half a kg yellow beans i did my kamande yesterday kamande ni kamande is lentils for those who don't know kamande we call them kamande here so i'll i'll be using onions these onions are enough for the yellow beans stew for the gideri and for the green crumbs stew these spices are for gideri here i have beef and onion seasoning nor here i have my we have paprika we have garlic and this is cumin then this the the ones i've just said are for gideri i have the spaces for green grams here this is cumin this is garam masala this is garlic powder this is paprika and i will be using three rico cubes then for the yellow bean stew i'll be using cumin garam masala garlic paprika and two rico cubes then i'll be using salt for everything apart from the yellow beans stew because if you have watched from the beginning you know i boiled the yellow beans with some salt and garlic to make them taste good okay i hope you have understood the spaces i'll be using so that you can get into frying Here I'm boiling some bananas. I just boiled green bananas, peeled them. Now I'm deep frying before I keep them in the fridge. I'll after removing them, I wait for them to cool down. Then store them in the fridge, and I'll fry them next time I need them. These are the ready bananas. Now I'll just wait for them to cool, then keep them in the fridge, and I'll. I guess I'll show you next time when I'm frying so that you can see how I fry the bananas. Since the oil is already hot, since I'm from the frying bananas, I'll just go ahead and add my onions. This one is for the green crumbs, so I'll need more onions. Okay. This one is for Gideri. And this one is for the yellow beans. Now let's wait for the onions to cook. So that we can add the spices to cook as well. The onions for the green crumbs are ready. I don't love mine turning so brown. So I'll go ahead and add the spices for the green crumbs you remember we have cumin garam masala paprika garlic powder uh, and go ahead and add that then i will add some salt and royco cubes i won't be adding so much since I'm adding three Royco cubes, 
I forgot to tell you that I've blended some tomatoes and garlic. I'll show you that when I'm adding. They are still in the blender. I'll show you that in a few. I love sorry. I love crushing my beef rico cubes. And this this food they they say iron cubes are full of iron. Hmm? Do you think it's true? And today you have been in the kitchen with me. If you haven't watched the Mandas this video that I was making as I was boiling the cereals, you can check it out. Please and like the video. And let me know if it's something you can try out. This is how I just make my stews, my cereal stews before putting them in the fridge. So when it comes to cooking, it's just warming them and cooking either rice, chapatis, whatever my family may wish to take that day. But for the gedheri, we take it when there are some avocados. So I'm adding my I'm adding my tomato and garlic paste blended. <laughs> Is this smoothie? My tomato tomatoes and garlic blend. I added some water so I was blending. I guess that is enough because we have more juice to be cooked. Now let's just cover this and wait for it to boil as we check on the other stew. Here I've decided because beans don't need so much of stirring like gideri, I'm going to cook beans here. Then in my next sophoria, I will cook the I will cook the gideri. So let's add the spices. You remember for yellow beans we are using paprika, garlic, cumin and garam masala and cumin. Just add that. Yes, mommy. But then my baby just woke up. When you were starting, she was asleep. That's why she wasn't making nice. Right now she's taking some ribena. Strawberry and blue strawberry and blueberry. Something like that. Ribena. So for the yellow beans, I'm adding record cubes. I'll just use two because it's not too much. For the yellow beans, I'm not adding any salt before I forget. Let me make sure first that I don't forget. I'm not adding salt because I added some salt when I was boiling the beans. But for the gideri, mm, I'll add some because of the meat, but not too much. This work of crushing the beef cubes is usually too much for me i guess just uh, and do the same thing we did to the green grams too just add the tomato and garlic paste mm. I might end up finishing up for the gideer. Stir and cover. Though this one has already started boiling, that means even for the green grams, must be already boiling. Let me cover this. 
and check on the green grass paste. Let's check on that. Ooh. Already boiling. Ooh. That smell, that smell is giving. It seemed to add the amazing, amazing green grams. I love this with chapos. So I'll just add all of them there. I'm starting to think, was that paste too little for the green grams? Because for kamande lentils, the stew was on top here. I used a different sphere, the one I was using to different. That's the sphere I used to fry the kamande. But this one is giving the vibes that the, <laughs> the paste was too little. For the lentils yesterday, I didn't need to add water. The tomato paste was enough. But for this one, seems I need to add some soap. But it's okay, no complaints. Stir well. And cover so that we can check on the githeri onions. But I guess even the yellow bean paste is already boiling, so I'll just first check on that cover. Here we have the here we have the yellow beans stew also already boiling do you see that i'm in love so in love so we'll just add some yellow beans oh i'm glad the pan was okay to use i'd planned to use this for rare but since the oil i was using to deep fry was too much i thought all of it could be could have been used to fry but that's not the case. It ended up being too much and I couldn't use that for here because I cannot return the oil to its bottle when it's too hot. That oil bottle is plastic, so I cannot. I'll just cover this and check on the other onions for the gideri. Tutu is making noise, she has finished. Oh, she poured even her cheese. Let me add the spices. For the githeri, I'm using paprika, north, spice, that is beef and onion seasoning, cumin and garlic powder. I'll just add some heat. This corner usually have the least heat. That's why even the onions didn't burn as I was cooking the other things. But cooking is stressful. When you when cooking multiple things at a go, you can easily burn your food. So you need to be alert and make sure you don't end up with spoiled food. The spices will cook as the tomato paste cook. So let me add the tomato and garlic paste. Now we leave this to boil as I add soup to the green crumbs and yellow beans too. Oh, I forgot to add something. To the githeri, we add some salt because the maize didn't boil with salt. It's not like the yellow beans too. Let's cover that. And check on the others. It's time to add some soap so that the green crabs don't end up.
sticking on this furia and also because we need some soap when preheating this i don't love adding water when preheating so i'll just add the blender with the tomato paste is where i've added some water instead of using clean water has some tomatoes going to waste I won't be adding too much of it. I will just add that water. And add more heat and leave it to boil. I'll add the heat and leave it to boil. Then I'll also add some soup to my yellow beans stew this i believe i tasted the beans after boiling and they were so tasty so we should try that try boiling with garlic powder and salt and remember you can let me know on the comment section also do you love taking meat so frequently because for me i don't that's why i love having cereals in the house I won't be adding so much so i'll just add that here i won't be adding heat since the soup is too little i just leave it to boil now let's check on the gizeri paste and as you can see it's already boiling so i'll go ahead and add some maize and add the beans you can see how this tomato paste is like too much that's how i wanted the tomato paste for the green grams to be but anyway it's okay at least it has gotten to be too much for the gideri i know the gideri will be tasty But I guess I blended, I wish I blended more tomatoes, but next day. Now let's cover this and leave it to boil. Oh, finally, the stews, my meals for the week are ready. For the green crumbs, add more tomato paste, not like me. The green crumb stew you can see it i'm in love with the results even the even if i didn't add so much tomato paste then these are the yellow beans if you buy baked beans at the supermarket this is a way to make your own instead of buying yes tell them to be even as we can take these ones for breakfast and here is our gideri smelling so good i forgot to say things like carrots and coriander dania usually add when preheating because if i add right now when preheating they will overcook so and i love my carrots a bit crunchy so just add when preheating that's why i have a added carrots and dania you can also do that cook like this and when the time comes to reheat you will add your carrots and coriander that is dania i also have my deep fried bananas here these are green bananas not the red bananas right now all i have to say is thank you so much for joining us today in my kitchen thank you so much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and also like my video share and click the notification bell so that you can be notified now let me take some photos for the thumbnail and for ig see you next time bye bye